So I'm Donovan Cavers. I'm the candidate for Kamloops South Thompson for the BC Greens. So I, I grew up in Kamloops. I was born at Royal Inland Hospital. Um, spent my early years on a family farm in Chase. Um, my whole family lives in this region. Uh, it's just over my grandmother's this morning. Uh, my sister is in Armstrong, my brother's in uh, Chase on the family farm where I grew up, and his daughter and my, my sister has a daughter now too, so I'm a proud uncle. And uh, my kind of ancestry, I guess, is my um, paternal grandmother's uh, from Scotland, my paternal grandfather's from Ireland, and my uh, uh, maternal grandfather's from Denmark, and my uh, maternal uh, grandmother is from England, so that's my sort of background. Uh, career experience, um, I've ran a catering business, uh, being a proud small business owner. I'm running conscientious catering uh, for the last nine years. And I've actually been a city councillor for the last five years. Was first elected in 2011 and re-elected in 2014. So in the riding, Terra Restaurant, I think, but I've actually just discovered BT's and it's pretty, pretty awesome as well. So it's kind of hard because I, as a city councillor, I've been looking specifically at Kamloops issues, but um, in the provincial context, um, I think there's been a loss of focus on um, the university and it's a huge economic generator for our community and for our province overall, having people that are properly trained, that's I think the best investment that we can make um, in the economy is investing in education. Um, specific to the riding, it's really hard to, to narrow down. Um, I look at Chase, Kamloops, and Savannah, which are the kind of ma more major uh, population centers. Um, but one thing that I've been working on a lot as a city councillor that I think has been neglected by our provincial government is uh, transit. Um, we do need a lot more investment in transit locally. Yeah, so personally, I can relate to students. I'm obviously a younger person. Um, the approach that I've taken as a city councillor and that I would take as an MLA is to think about things in the very long term. One of the problems with um, politicians a lot nowadays is that they just think in the election cycle, so in four year spurts, kind of what can we get done and, and show off at the next election in four years. We really need to um, have more of a longer term focus and because I'm a young person I plan to, to live in this area for at least 50 or 60 years. So I, I have a really long-term approach. And I also, um, because I'm a young person, I hang out with young people. I go to potlucks, board game nights. So I actually, just on an ongoing basis, know what people are thinking about and uh, the things that matter to them. I think I have to say Moonrise Kingdom by Wes Anderson. He's a fantastic director. So um, provincially, as far as jurisdiction goes, healthcare and education. Um, healthcare has been getting a lot of attention because seniors vote in great numbers, but I think um, an, a lot of attention needs to be put back on higher education. Like I said earlier, um, it's the best investment that we can make in the, the economy. The way that things are going with digital and all that sort of stuff, um, having an a educated workforce is the best investment that we can make. So I think. Um, we still need to look at healthcare, and the, the green approach to that is uh, more of a focus on prevention, um, making sure people stay healthy rather than fixing them when they get sick. Um, but I think even more so, we do need to focus on higher education and prevent, p potentially even moving to a place where we eliminate um, tuition fees altogether. So I think um, having access based on merit, not based on uh, financial ability, is uh, um, the number one thing. I know a lot of students that are really um, gifted people, but they have a hard time holding down two jobs and um, still maintaining um, a strong focus on their education. So um, that shouldn't be the case. It shouldn't be like a pay to play sort of scenario. And I see that shift happening too much where it's drifting more and more towards the latter. So if it's uh, summertime, I would take them for a walk on the Rivers Trail and then for a craft beer, either Red Collar or uh, the Noble Pig or Red Beard. And wintertime, probably cross-country skiing up at Steak Lake or something like that. 
So I think um, with the federal government as well, the trend has been more for all sorts of things moving towards tax credits and it needs to be more based on bursaries rather than tax credits because tax credits only favor people that have enough of an income already to have to pay taxes. So um, bursaries are a lot better, more just way to distribute um, funds. But like I said earlier, um, in the long term, I think that we should seriously look towards moving um, away from tuition altogether like they have done in many European countries.